making an impression using impression compound. First, prepare all the materials needed for the procedure. These are your rubber balls, your impression compound cakes, your 8x8 gauze, your Vaseline, your carvers, your scissors, your models, and your aluminum stock trays. Place an 8x8 gauze inside the rubber bowl to prevent the material from sticking in the inner areas of the bowl. Before starting the impression procedure, you need to prepare your trays. In our experiment, we will use this aluminum stock tray that you can shape, cut, or extend to the appropriate size of the model. Okay, let's try it, the model. So as you can see, the tray is larger than the model. So in this case, we can shape the aluminum tray. Okay. Okay. A little bit extended so we can trim the areas. Okay, now this is the cut and shape maxillary stock tray. So note here guys the extension of the tray. Okay. Next is for your mandibular model. Now, this should be shaped and cut also. Now, this is the cut and shape stock tray of your mandibular arch. Okay. Note the extension of this. If your stock trays, apply Vaseline on your models for easy separation of the impression. Heat the water to 55 degrees Celsius using a kettle or a heat-controlled water bath. For the maxillary impression, use one and a half compound cakes. Soften the compound at a warm bath that should be carried out at the proper temperature. This will convert it to a total plastic state. The material should be uniformly soft before placing it inside the tray. Avoid prolonged immersion or overheating because it can result into a low molecular weight which ingredients can leach out that increases its brittleness and make it a grainy mass. Knead the material between your fingertips until it is completely softened to a plastic state. Once the material is completely softened, form it into a ball between your palms and then slowly load it in the tray. Start on the center of the tray and mold it to the edges of the tray. This is to avoid incorporation of air bubbles or creasing of the impression surface. 
make indentations on the surface of the impression to accommodate the shape of the arch. Heat the material again before introducing it on the model. Make sure that the tray is centered on your model. Wait for the compound to set at room temperature. Follow the same procedure for your mandibular impression. For the mandibular, form it into a log. And then load it to your tray from one end to the other. Make indentations on the impression material for the arch of the mandibular. And then the same, heat it again before making the impression. Don't forget to put Vaseline on your models. After the material has been set, it will resist indentation. At that point, you can remove your impression. Inspect your impression with a good light source. There should be no voids or creases on the arch area. Okay, from the mandibular. Now, this is ready to be poured with your plaster of Paris or your dental stone.